All right, hey guys, uh, my name is Mick Satcher, and um, I, uh, from time to time, buy houses, fix them up, and resell them. I also rent properties and uh, that kind of stuff. But uh, right now, I actually have a house in Gettysburg that we just finished uh, updating and remodeling. And this is the house right here. And uh, I want to show you the area. And this is the property that's for sale. If you want to get more information about this home, call this number and you can get some more details. 814-3000, 717-814-3000. But anyway, let me show you this house right now. Basically, as you can tell in the background, uh, it's just beautiful. What a serene, beautiful location. Uh, it's just under one acre. I believe it's 0.87 acres and it actually goes out to about uh, that bush right there um, anyway uh, basically this is um, on the tax records uh, it was listed as a two bedroom but it was definitely a three bedroom home there was an attic upstairs so on and so forth so we finished that off and uh, there is central air and everything like that in the house so basically there's the house why this is all uh, dirty and uh, exposed right here is because i had to put a new septic tank in this property and I just left it like this for now so you guys can see that a new septic tank was in fact put in. When I bought it, the septic tank had a leak, so it failed. So we put a new septic tank in there. The house comes with a one-car garage, which is beautiful for off-street parking, which is always nice to have. And we'll take you around and show you inside. Uh, now, as of right now, we have it structured off and finished off as basically four bedrooms, but um, I have to tell you that this is a three-bedroom home because that's what it shows on the tax records and that's what the septic tank is set up for. So, basically, this is a three-bedroom home with the possibility of a fourth bedroom if you want, okay? And right now, you'll see it is set up kind of with four bedrooms, but one of them doesn't really have a closet, so you can't really call it a bedroom per se. But, uh, you know, you can do with it whatever you choose. Anyway, here's the garage. Nothing fancy. Uh, this uh, electric door opener and everything works. Uh, let me show you. There you go. So it's all working. All through here. And it's got electric. And it's got like a light out here and stuff. So if you want to work out here, make it uh, some type of a... Uh, you know, workspace, that's always a nice little uh, feature. Now, the nice thing was, uh, this space right here, people actually had it set up as a washer and dryer area. So there was plumbing already there. I chose instead to make it a full bathroom down here. And then we designated this space for the washer and dryer to do stackable units. Now, I personally, myself, um, have a stackable unit and pretty much all the units these days you can make stackable so it's actually very convenient so some people just might not like that but the trade-off was to get um, basically a new full bathroom instead of a wasted washer and dryer space I think in the end I think you should uh, definitely appreciate that over just uh, having a washer and dryer space so basically washer and dryer stackable unit would go there Here's the new full bathroom now. That's me over there. Okay. Stand up shower, so on and so forth. Kitchen. Basically the kitchen structure the way it was itself was actually pretty good. We basically just updated it, put new granite countertops in here. And the existing cabinets that were there, honestly they weren't terrible. So we've painted them and uh, you know, I think it turned out nice. Now, obviously, some people might not like it or, you know, they might have preferred uh, cherry cabinets or something like that. But if ever you wanted to do that, that's obviously your call. Uh, new, uh, new sink uh, in here, you know, new double deep sink and nice, uh, you know, gooseneck uh, faucet. All right. So obviously the whole house has been painted. The floors have been redone. There's one spot that we just could not get fixed over there. So... We could have avoided it by making all the floors that dark, and I didn't like it. I think it just looked nicer like this. So here's, uh, you know, the downstairs. We put a whole new handrail up there, which is, you know, looks nice. Uh, oh, all brand new windows, all brand new central air conditioning system. Uh, here's the bathroom here. This entire bathroom was remodeled. Pretty much everything in this home was remodeled. So it's all... Uh, you know, pretty much new. 
So that's bedroom number one, closet, uh, access panel for the bus. Bedroom number two, closet, you know, with some lights in there and stuff, which is always nice. Okay. Let me show you the basement. Basement's nothing to write home about, but it's been cleaned up, which is nice. Uh, the home does have oil. It's an oil tank home. Um, water heater looks good. The whole basement floor was repainted. All the walls were dry locked because uh, there was some moisture in here uh, that we took care of. Um, basically around the perimeter of the house, I uh, put like six mil paper down or uh, plastic paper down to you know avoid any water coming into the house. But there still might be a little bit of water here and there. But So uh, all new tank there. I mean not new tank, sorry, sorry, that's not a new tank. Uh, it's just an old tank, but it's in good shape. Uh, 200 amp uh, service. I want to make sure about that. Yes, 200 amp service, which is nice. This is just like an old area of the home. I guess this was a build on at some point in time. This is nothing to write home about. This is where all the plumbing and all that kind of stuff is right now. Okay. Give me one second, I want to verify that this is in fact 200 amps. Yes, that is 200 amps. I, was, I just needed to put a flashlight on it. I didn't want to say something wrong. And then let me show you the upstairs attic area, which has been designated as two separate little living areas. But again, I have to classify this as a three bedroom home because the septic system is for a three bedroom home. Um, so. That's you know closet there. Let's go up here. So basically, this area up here was all just one open area. So basically, I put up a door here and a door here to create some privacy. So this would be perfect for like some kids and stuff like that. And the floors here are just beautiful. So this room definitely has a closet. So realistically, um, I can classify this as a three bedroom home. This one per se does not have a closet. I mean, look at those floors, they're beautiful. Gorgeous floors. Um, so it's got this little thing, but that's not a closet. It's just a little access panel to get back there, maybe for some extra storage. Okay, so, uh, so basically it's a three bedroom home. Lights, you know, lights are everywhere. All that stuff. So we've got. There you go. All right. So there it is. Um, and basically, if you uh, like this home, or if you want to get some more information, you need to contact the phone number seven one seven eight one four three thousand seven one seven eight one four three thousand. Again, all new granite countertops. Nice backsplash in the back that we put, like a nice little mosaic tile, which looks nice. I haven't uh, put any, uh, you know, fridge or anything like that in here because a lot of the times people seem to have their own fridges these days, so you can obviously bring your own fridge. You might want silver or you might want black. I think black would look good in this place. So if this is something you have some interest in, definitely call that number, 717-814-3000. The nice thing is right now I'm not using a realtor. So because I'm not using a realtor right now, I can pass on some savings to you. So if you call now, before I choose to use a realtor, you could definitely get a good deal on this place as well. Uh, the way I have it priced right now, it's close to around a fifteen dollars to $20,000 discount. So definitely call me now. All right, thank you.